Seamus here. I'd like to share with you today some uh, home-built, handmade toilet seat guitars. Um, we're all familiar with the one of the most famous guitars ever put on the market. That would be a Fender Stratocaster. Well, this is the uh, Crapocaster by American Standard. Don't know if you can see the logo there. Uh, the neck made from a three-core, one by four. Uh, Three quarter inch thick um, red oak from Lowe's Home Improvement Center. Uh, the toilet seat given to me by a good buddy of mine, uh, Terry, who's got no musical ability whatsoever. He has trouble even playing the radio, but uh, had him sign it here. Just his biggest contributing factor to this project was that he was potty trained on this toilet seat back in 1949. Uh, which probably explains some of the lovely green patina here on the nickel-plated brass hinges. Uh, pick guard here is uh, mahogany, three, uh, 3 16 mahogany from uh, Home Depot. Uh, strat layout on the uh, pickups and bridge and tone and volume controls built right into the toilet seat itself. Uh, let you, the lid still somewhat functional. Uh, let you see the inner bowels and the inner workings of this beauty here. So I might play a little uh, note, couple uh, licks for you here, a little extra TP in case things get messy. Hope not. Play a little uh, muddy water style uh, in open G. Vintage uh, oak toilet seat guitar. Next, uh, I'd like to share with you the deluxe model. Get rid of these picks here. Which would be, uh, not to be confused with the Crapo Caster. This is the Strato Crapper by a Kohler, actually. This has a traditional fretted neck. Uh, actually reclaimed and recycled Johnson neck. How appropriate. <laughs> Here again, the strap made uh, from a horse bridle and a little extra TP just in case. Show you the, the back of this one. Still works somewhat. The pick guard, a traditional strap pickup, tone and volume controls. And my favorite song uh, I like to do, uh, by the way, I, I built one of these for my. Um, Urologist, he didn't care for it at all, but for some reason I, I gave it to my uh, proctologist and he liked it just fine. Don't know what was going on with that, but anyway, my favorite song is Wipeout, but today I thought I would play a little, uh, little tune I learned back in 58 by Chuck Berry and his brother Dingle. 
Um, no one much remembered Dingo. He uh, he just kind of hung around all the time. I th thought I'd never get rid of him. But anyway, little Chuck Berry. Um, if you ever have the unfortunate experience to play one of these fine instruments, please play it sitting down. If you stand up and play, it can really sound crappy. Just a note of warning. A uh, little disclaimer, if uh, while playing a toilet seat guitar for more than four hours, uh, it will cause constipation. So seek the advice of a physician, if you will. And if you happen to see a neighbor throw out a fine toilet seat such as this, I, I would scoff that thing up, uh, maybe throw some strings on it and play the crap out of it. And uh, remember, no one has more fun than people. Enjoy. It concludes our little study and tutorial today on toilet seat guitars.